everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For everyone who doesn't know who I am, my name is Trilly and I'm the owner of Love My Nails and this lovely channel. This is my very first YouTube video. I usually do YouTube shorts, but I have actually gained a lot of followers recently for my little channel. And a lot of questions were asking, do I actually paint the nails? Cause some people were having some questions about that. And yeah, I actually do and I wanna show you guys. So let's go on with this video. So today we're gonna be doing this super cute pearl mermaid nail design. So I'm just going in, I'm starting to buff all the nails to remove the shine or any oils I may have. This is completely optional. It's up to you whether you wanna buff your nails or not. I kind of find that the polish adheres better to it and it has a firm like foundation and the polish is able to grip to the nail better because if I don't do this, my polish kind of slips off and it peels off and I'm pretty sure that nobody wants that. So I do recommend buffing the nails before applying any polish. If you're gonna do this nail design on your natural nails, I still suggest buffing them before applying the polish. So I'm just going in with my Madame Glam Glitter Matte Top Coat. I totally forgot to show you guys that I already used base coat before applying this. So right now I'm applying a thin layer and also this is completely optional. You can also use a nude color if you want to replace this, but I find that this goes perfect with the iridescent pearl mermaid look. So right now it looks super clear and it looks very see-through, but it's going to turn into a matte. So I'm just covering all the nails and then we're gonna pop into the nail jar for it to cure. So I'm going in with my Modelone's base coat and going over top of the glitter matte top coat. So we're going to do all of these nails and cover them in base coat and then we're gonna cure it for 30 seconds, okay? Not a minute, just 30 seconds because we're gonna have to pop it out and put our chrome powder on. My nails just came out of the nail lamp and now we're going in with some clear chrome powder. I usually wear gloves for this, but my glove was kind of getting caught on the nail and causing an indent. So just don't mind me using my bare hands for this. Okay, we're just going to repeat this step until all 10 nails are finished. Okay, now we're going to go in with my gold chrome powder. We're going to be pouring it into a little bowl or whatever you have to mix polishes or anything. We're just gonna be pouring a little bit out. I accidentally poured a little too much, so I have to pour it back into my container. But right now, we're gonna be getting solid nail gel glue, and we're gonna mix the chrome together. Okay, now we're gonna roll it into a thin little snake and then place it on the edge of the nail, wrapping it around to a little circle. With the remaining solid nail gel glue, you're going to make a little ball and place it on the nail. And then you're gonna get a little blue bead or whatever you prefer. It can be like a pearl and you're just gonna stick it on there at the beginning of the nail. And you're just gonna repeat the same step on the other thumb. You're just going to grab a little bit of solid nail gel glue and then also grab the little bead. Now I'm going in with my Beatles white polish and I'm just gonna be dabbing it in my mixing tray. I'm also gonna be going in with my Madame Glam rubber base gel. I use the rubber base gel for the 3D art, almost mimicking a solid nail gel glue. So now what you're gonna do is cover the full nail in rubber base gel glue or any thick gel polish that you have. Now just grab any sharp little tool that you have and carve little lines in there to create almost a shell effect. It doesn't have to be perfect because shells are not really perfect, but I thought this would just be a cute little like weird design. I was kind of just going along with it and I kind of liked it. So you can actually do an actual shell design or just copy the method that I did. Okay, now you're going to repeat the exact same steps. You're going to go through the rubber base gel and then carve out little lines to make the shell design or whatever design that you prefer to do. I'm just going in with some rubber base gel and creating a little circle or a French tip, whatever you prefer. We're just going on one side and doing the other because later on we're going to be having little beads there to form a little French tip. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going in with my Bossy Gold Polish. We're putting in my little mixing tray, and then we're going to get a dotting tool. We're going to be grabbing the ring fingernail, and then we're going to be creating two little dots on either side, and then we're going to be grabbing a long brush so it'll glide easier, and then we're going to be creating almost like a little star pattern. So we go dot right there, and then we're getting more polish, and then we go dot right there. And then we're going to be grabbing the brush, and then we're going to be making a little bling star pattern. Okay, now on the other hand, we're going to do two little dots on either side and then getting our long brush and then creating four little lines to create that bling effect. I'm just going in with my little ball beads and I'm just gonna pour them into a little container and then I'm going to be getting everything set up and now I'm going in with white polish and creating almost like a French tip half circle. And then what I'm going to be doing is adding the little balls around that. Okay, now coming in with my gem picker upper, I'm going to be placing the ball beads all around where the white is, creating a French tip circle. Okay, now we're going to be repeating the exact same step, going in with the white polish, making a French tip circle, and then we're going to go with the same beads, and then we're going to be following the pattern. Okay, now grabbing that star bling nail, we're going to go in with two little balls of gold solid nail gel glue. We're going to place them where the bling is and then we're going to be flattening it out to match the pattern. So I push down the little ball and then I kind of stretch it out in four corners so I go up, down, and then side side. Now I'm going back to the bead French tip nail and I'm rolling out a thin snake of the solid nail gel glue and I'm going to be wrapping it around following the French tip pattern and then at the little end I'm going to be making it a full circle. Now I'm just going into the pinky nail, I'm putting a little bit of solid nail gel glue there, and then I'm going to be putting a little clear flower charm. This is totally optional, I just think it kind of looks kind of cute, but if you guys have any other charms you would like to replace it with, feel free to, because this is just kind of an inspo. You guys can change it up, and the reason why I've been speeding up the clips is because the initial video would be way too long for you guys to watch, and I don't want the video to get too boring for you guys, so just bear with me. Okay, now I'm going to be going with a little bit of the gold solid nail gel glue, and then I'm going to be getting my anchor charm, and it's going to be going in the center of that little circle French tip with the beads. So we're just going to place it like that. Just want to pat it down to make sure it's going to stay there. You can add whatever you want. I just thought that the anchor would look really cute with the pearl shell beachy vibe because it's almost like the ocean kind of nail set. So now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the exact same steps on the other hand. Okay, now I'm going with my rubber base gel. I'm creating the 3D shell look. And I'm also making a few little lines to give them indents. Okay. 
Now for the last step before putting the top coat on, we're going on the ring finger and then we're going to be adding a little bit of solid nail gel glue with a little pearl bead to give it that cute pearl effect. Okay, now for the last final step, we're going to be using Madame Glam Glossy Top Coat, and we're just going to glaze them all, and then we'll be done.